and Public Works Committee, the U.S. Senator Benjamin Carter. Lisa, thank you very much. Well, two of my favorite people are here again, Lisa Jackson and Ken Salazar. And let me tell you, it's always wonderful to have them here in Maryland because they usually bring good news when they come. In fact, they always bring good news when they come. So come on back frequently. You, you need to know that Ken Salazar was, was my buddy when he was in the United States Senate. We, we worked together on many issues, and uh, we shared the same compassion and vision for America's future. He, he's now our CEO of America's Lands. And he has done an incredible job in using and protecting our lands for America's future. So, Ken, I just really want to thank you. You're doing a fabulous job. It's not easy. And thank you for everything you've done for America's future and for my grandchildren's future. Appreciate that. Now, I know Ken's going to agree with me that the number one person who has stood up to a, the attack on our environment against some very, very strong opponents has been Lisa Jackson. She's our hero. She's our hero. She hasn't flinched. She has put our clean water and clean air first. She stood up to some very narrow corporate interests who have forgotten that clean water and clean air is good for our economic growth. Chesapeake Bay, it's our way of life. It's our future. It's our economy, it's our culture, it's what makes this state so unique, and we need to do a better job. We're doing, you know, we're doing a lot of good things. We've got to do a better job uh, to protect the Chesapeake Bay uh, for our future and for uh, Maryland and this region's future. These programs are very important. This urban watershed program, there is pollution that goes into the Patapsco, that goes into the Chesapeake Bay be, because of our, our wastewater treatment facility plants, because of our roads and, and, and concrete with the runoff from, from storms, uh, from uh, the, the way the industrial waste is, ends up going into the Patapsco and into the, uh, into the Chesapeake Bay. And yes, even the farming activities in our urban areas can be done in a more friendly way towards our uh, environment. We understand that. And the federal government understands that. And that's why they want to be partners with us. This is not just an environmental issue. This is a health issue. You know, the people of Maryland believe when they turn on their faucets, they should be getting safe and clean water. It just doesn't happen. If you don't protect our waters, if you don't protect and enforce the Clean Water Act, it's going to have a major impact on the health of the people <coughs> of our community. That's why we're so passionate about this. That's why we work so, so hard to bring about these results. So we believe that this partnership, 10 agencies, 10 federal agencies working together so that we're going to empower local communities, so they have the tools and resources to take responsibility for their own natural resources to make a difference for our future. That's what this program is about. And I must tell my, my federal colleagues, you picked the right place here in the Patapsco. You picked the absolute right place. It's a vulnerable river and watershed, but the commitment is here locally to make a difference. We've already been doing that, and, and, and this pilot program will give, you a, will give us a way to show the rest of the nation that we can make improvements and can make a difference. We're going to win this. We're going to win this for our future. I'm proud to be your senator. Thank you. And I'm uh, the Secretary of Interior, Ken Salazar, and uh, I'm delighted to uh, be here.